Hey guys, Grunge Lab Zero Gaming here, and in today's video, uh, we're just going to be talking about what makes Apex Legends uh, such a great game and why you should play it yourself. So let's start off with, I guess, just free roam. Uh, it makes it really, this game really does make it easy for you to free roam. Is you a good enough speed, you can actually sprint in this game, but like most games today, uh, pretty much all of them have a sprinting mode that you can use. They also have a fast travel mode, which you can get uh, by having one of these little, I guess, little like jetpack areas where you can fly back up into the sky and jetpack around. If you don't have Apex Legends, that's a big thing. You actually glide in. It's kind of like Fortnite or any other kind of battle royale, how they start now. PUBG, you know, you name it. Uh, that's kind of how they start in. And then you can land with your team or solo. Uh, they just don't, I guess it's kind of nice though, that they put you in teams. I always found it's easier in teams than solo. But, I mean, that's only if you have a good team, I guess, if they get taken out and then it's against... Then I guess it's a three against one in the very last round. So see this what I mean? This little, um, area? Uh, the map is actually really big, so there's lots of places to explore, with it, which is good. Because if you find yourself, you know, in a situation, you can just jetpack away and um, they'll probably never catch up to you if they're already like above you and then you fly the other way you'll probably be able to run away and uh, then there's lots of like tricks you can use too like running and then crouching and then there's also different things like you know camping tricks offensive tricks like just like running in there with your team throwing all the grenades you have down so there's lots of different strategies you can use in this game there's tons of buildings to explore and there's tons of just like little things to pick up like med kits syringes you know shields uh, you name it there's also different ranks you can have you can have a kill leader you can have champion squads so that means like your squad is like it's kind of like valid Victorian kind of thing it's like your team has like the like judging from like your ranks from like the last games kind of like it, it takes your average of all the games you've played and it's like well you're most likely to win you know or you're most likely to be the kill leader and what makes this really cool is the characters so the characters are really cool because there's so many you can have and so many different ones so what I mean by that is characters have different abilities like I just put gas traps down and that's pretty much all I do is I just have like this foam now other people like Octane, if you guys don't know the character like the most like famous character of them all, he just like he's like a fun character. He can like run really fast and have like a put down like a tramp pretty much like a portable trampoline for you to use, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they have things like Pathfinder, this robot that puts down like grappling hooks so you can like pretty much just slide on ropes all over the map, which is pretty cool. And then next is the graphics. The graphics are amazing. And it really goes well with the power-ups, see, like, the contrast of just, like, the powder over the landscape. I think that's really nice. The screen size is really nice. Not too many things, like, clouding up. No, your screen, like, just having, like, one big thing drop in the middle of your screen. Like, most games, you know, I would say, like, not ads, but things like that. And see, I can just, like, kill kill leader like this. Just, like, catch them from surprise while they're trying to revive and, uh... Yeah, you know, it works pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, what's interesting is there's so many different ammos to collect and different weapons, which is nice. Now, they do have a little problem with retexturing weapons to some, like, little extent. Like, some weapons may look like each other, but take different ammo. Now, some games have a really bad, you know, they have a really, really bad, you know, deal with this. But they keep it under control and make sure that there's limited, you know, copies of the same weapon, which I think is really nice. So, like, if you just see it, you know, like, oh, I know what that weapon is. That's, you know, R301 or something like that. And then, again, with your teammates. So, it's nice that you have three, a fire team of three, like most games, actually. It's kind of like a, just, like, common thing. Um, and you guys might know of a game called Destiny 2, you know, in that game you actually have only three characters to pick up and you should have like, you know, three characters, a Titan, a Warlock, and a Hunter. Now in this game it's different. There's actually nine characters you can choose from and three of them you have to buy. Now this is actually interesting because the better you are, you know, that's just how it goes.
So really means just mastering the abilities of your character. Like let's say you're good at setting traps, then you should yes, be you know, caustic, setting traps, that's the name of a character. Now, if you do know this game, you would know that what makes this game <laughs> pretty much very well is the weapons you have and making sure that you should have like the right weapon and the right team. Now if you don't have this game, the best thing you can have is a weapon that works right for you, that you can handle overall, and a weapon that you really like. I guess, I have I like repeating pistols, you can have so many other things, and that's pretty much the aim of the game, just to have, just to be the best that you are, and take down as many opponents as you can with your team. Uh, you can go, um, so this is nice, you can actually go... This is what makes Apex Legend. I just can't stop saying that because what really makes it good is I like going Lone Wolf. And why this is good is because you can go out for a time with your, um, pretty much you can go out from your squad when you're jumping. When you're jetpacking down, just hold X, you know, get out of the situation. Go to somewhere where you know there's good loot, pick up that good loot, make sure that, that there's, you know, no one else that landed with you. Then get out of there. And then meet up with your team later by using the easy transport system, and that's, it's really nice. And then you can also jump in and use those transport systems to go up and see if there's other enemies around you, maybe land at their position. Uh, mark them, let your team know. If you guys don't know how to mark them, it's just uh, two taps uh, on the left, tr on the uh, right trigger, I mean. And, and the last thing I do have to say is overall weapons. Now, I know I already talked a little bit about weapons and supplies, but they make it kind of like a survival game, just like supplies in general. They have so much supplies for you to collect, it really is kind of cool. They have this, they have shield generators and different objects for you to collect, like med kits, uh, phoenix kits, you know, that recharges everything. So they have a bigger variety of things to choose from. And yeah, yeah, that is it for me. Uh, please subscribe and turn on your bell for notifications so you'll be notified when more of our Apex Legends video gets released. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it and finding the clips to fill in the time for this. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Apex Legends, uh, please check out all my other videos so you guys can be acquainted with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Welcome to North Hill, a new townhome development located in the north end of Boise, Idaho. Offering two or three bedroom floor plans with refined finishes and natural stone throughout. Come check us out and visit us at NorthHillBoise.com.